Hello everyone, welcome to another episode on It's Time. On this episode, I'll be talking about how diasporans can start out in Africa. I got a comment from one of my subscribers asking me to talk about how diasporans can start out in Africa. A lot of them want to start a business here or want to relocate here or want to try out if it was if it's possible to start something in Africa. On this episode, I'll tell you five things you need to keep in mind as you think about coming into Africa and starting something here or living here. The first thing I would like you to keep in mind is in Africa, relationships matter. Relationship is everything. Relationships really, really, really matter. And so my recommendation is start asking people who you know in wherever, which part, whichever part of the world you come from who have roots in Africa to introduce you to some people they can trust so you can connect with when you make the trip. It's always easier doing anything in this part of the world with relationships. Formality is good, but in Africa, relationships really count. So you may want to meet people from specific industries. I would say ask for referrals from the people you know who live on your part of the world. Even if they don't know a particular person to help you, they can definitely direct you to somebody who is close enough to the person you need to meet. Don't take relationships for granted. In Africa, it's all about relationships. I remember one time I needed a passport. The standard process is a month or so, but I needed it so urgently. I needed it in about three days. All I had to do was to call somebody who knew somebody at the passport office. Fact of the matter is I got a passport in three days. So. I'm telling you, the most important thing as you think about transitioning to Africa, as you think about doing anything in Africa, is relationships. Relationships are more important than money. Relationships, again, are more important than how much money you have. You may have all the money in the world, but you cannot get the things that the relationships can give you. So keep that in mind. The second thing about Africa, in Africa, you need a lot of patience. There are certain things that standardly should take a week, two weeks, or whatever time stipulated, but it oftentimes go be, goes beyond the stipulated time. Sometimes a week more or two weeks more, but you need a lot of patience. You can say it's bad, but I would say Things in Africa are done relatively different from how things are done in the West. Things are relatively slower. People are relatively more relaxed and not too much in a hurry. But you can get things happening relatively quicker with the right relationships. So again, just keep in mind, things can be a lot slower than you expect it to be. Three. Africa affords an opportunity for diasporans to own property. It's easy to buy lands and build houses and things like that. However, when you are trying to make a big investment in a thing like a land, you need to be extremely careful. I would recommend you need a lawyer. If you're going to get a land, you can easily be played or swindled because you're not from here. You don't understand the nitty gritties of getting property. Even people who are born and bred here get swindled. So my advice to you, get a lawyer, use stronger relationships and use stronger guarantees of getting your money back or getting that property. Make sure you get a lawyer is my advice. If any document is presented to you, please use your lawyer and verify the documentation. Africa can be fun, but it can also play games on you. So please make sure you live 
to a higher verification standard so that you don't lose your money. The next recommendation I would say is find a diasporan community. Every diasporan group has communities or have formed communities right here. The African-Americans have a diasporan community in Ghana. If you're African-American, join the diasporan community. They know how to get paperwork because a lot of them have it. Some of them have stayed there for a very long time. They know what frustrations you may have and they can support you assimilate quicker. Sometimes because we come from a very individualistic background, we would like to do things ourselves and not have um, people who are familiar with where we come from interfere in the things we want to do. But I would advise you, use your diaspora and community. If for nothing at all, just know what they have learned by staying here. It's an easier place to stay, but it can also get frustrating if you do not know what is expected of you socially or even what you must do to get certain things done. On security, I lived in the US for some time and there are a number of things that came up for me living in the US. Before I went to America, I didn't know I was black. Um, I didn't know I was a male that was scary and people clutched their bags when they saw me. I didn't know that American police could be treacherous. I had never thought that a policeman could shoot you for no good reason. But one thing I can assure you is you won't find that in, in Africa where you are discriminated against because of how you look or your color. But one thing I can assure you also is the police are sometimes corrupt. Sometimes you need to pay your way out of things. You may not subscribe to that, but you just have to keep it in mind. It usually happens around traffic offenses. So if you take a wrong turn, instead of issuing you a ticket, you may have to part away with some money. Or you go through the tedious process of going to a police station and court and all those things. So these are the five things I want you to keep in mind as you think about relocating to Africa. But if there's any one thing I want you never to ever take for granted, it will be relationships. Relationships are key in your adventure of going to or coming to Africa. With the right relationships, you can settle seamlessly, have a great experience, a way better experience than most people will have. And so, take my advice. I was born here, I live here, I have been to your world, and you are coming to mine. I wish you all the best, and if anybody needs any help um, with getting a contact to somebody who lives here or somebody who can help you in any particular industry, shoot me a mail. If I can help, I would I would share with you any contacts I have. If I can't, I'll refer you to somebody else. But I wish you all the best. It's always better to have two homes than just one. If you like this video, I would recommend you subscribe, you write a comment, you ask a question, and you share it with other friends you have. I would like to hear from you on what you think and if you are planning to come here, which other questions you may have. I'll be happy to respond to every single person who sends a message. See you in the next episode.